Oh, that racist rant caught on camera. And now she is apologizing. But we have learned this is far from her first ugly run-in with others. And Randy Page, he's in... Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock now. So what have you uncovered today, Randy? Well, Pat, we learned a whole lot about the woman you see in that video. And the sometimes the words people say aren't necessarily exactly what they mean. When this cell phone video went viral on social media, showing this woman screaming racial epithets and threats outside a CVS store in Eagle Rock, there were questions about who she was and whether or not her threats should be taken seriously. I would kill her, but the law says I can't kill the. It was not the first time she was captured on video. Here's one from March 8th. You deserve to die. Another from March 19th. Yet another one month later. I'll slit your throat, you ugly stalking Security camera video captured from Tony Toscano's home just across the street. Stalking I would describe it as a nightmare. Tony Toscano grew up in this modest Eagle Rock home. He's now moved back in to protect his elderly parents from the neighbors across the street. She will call us, um, you know, racial slurs. She'll start making threats to kill us. She thinks that we're out to kill her. Tony helped his parents install the cameras, file police reports, and get a restraining order. Why? Because they're here again. Why? His cameras captured a visit in December by police. No. Her issues are certainly uh, with mental health. Get inside, please. Stop stalking! Stop it right now! Tony Toscano identifies his nightmare neighbors as Heather Patton and Lloyd Sigler. He shared this heartbreaking video showing Heather's husband desperately trying to calm her down before police are called. It's heartbreaking because you see the torment that they're both going through. I love you. Today, a woman identifying herself as Heather Patton posted an online apology saying in part, African Americans helped build this country, and I hate that I insulted the millions of them. I have lost my job, which I totally would agree on. Please allow me to rekindle the love we shall all share amongst each other. And in a separate post, she writes simply, please forgive me. After all of the insults and threats, Tony Toscano says his family has but one simple hope. They need help. Simple as that. She needs help. And he would like to see his family be able to live in peace. So what can you do if you encounter someone who appears to be having a mental breakdown? Well, if it's serious enough, to f if you feel that there's real danger involved, of course, call 911. But realize that L.A. County does have emergency response teams, crisis response teams, who are experts in mental health, available 24 hours a day, and those are the people you should call. Live in Eagle Rock, Randy Page, CBS 2 News, back to you.